post. I grabbed a bite to eat at some forgotten fast food chain that had failed everywhere else. I thought hard to remember the words those voices said. The only possible clues I had left. My instinct told me time was running out to save this story. I hightailed it back to the local paranoid, Lowell Blythe. This time, we met face to face. He decided I was neither a kook or one of those notorious men and seer sucker that he feared. I tried to pronounce the words that I'd heard. After looking through some books and doing a word search, he found an online lecture from some university in Massachusetts. Doomsday Cults, reflecting on the return of the Elder Gods. It wasn't the gobbledygook that interests me, but the speaker, Althea Glup Sims. That would be Monica's mother. This was the skeleton Monica spoke of. Summoning Doomsday was the family business. Item. How does one go about bringing the end of the world? Well, according to Althea Glup Sims, self-proclaimed scholar on Cthuloid mythos and Lowell Blythe's research, you would open a portal to a nether realm where these powerful elder gods sleep. Done at certain phases of the lunar cycle, you then offer human sacrifices of particular bloodlines to entice them to awaken and fully enter this dimension. And like that, you become the favored minions and rule over what the Elder Gods leave behind. I was right. Tonight is the last phase of the Lunar Cycle. The ritual must be held specifically on a crossing of Ley Lines, ancient energy indexes that connect throughout the globe. My hunch is I found that when I found Catherine's body. But how can I stop the ritual? The police won't believe me, may even be in on it. Blythe was already pushing me out the door as he was fleeing the area to hide in his bunker. I had no idea who the sacrifice would be. The book said the only protection from the gods and their minions was an elder symbol. But it gave no description and no way to make one. Somehow, I didn't think wooden stakes, a cross, or my camera flash would work this time. This story was going to be even bigger than the Collinsport main incident. Post. I scrambled to collect an assortment of flares, butane cans, paint bottles, fireworks, a billy club, anything to possibly disrupt a ritual. Item, there is no place in Soap County where you can acquire holy water. Even the lone Trinity Baptist Church does not provide it out of COVID concerns. I took the one cab in town back out to the Soap County State Park at nightfall as the moon started to rise high. I told the cabbie to go back, wait 30 minutes, then tell the police to come out here to prevent a murder. Mine. I told him there's a $50 bonus in it for him, but dead men don't pay. It was easier to find this time, with the candles and the chanting. A group of robed figures performing an eldritch ceremony by the lakeside. In the center was the guest of honor. The favored sacrifice turned out to be one of the first people that I met when I came to Soap County the trippy street dancer, Pleasures Freeman. But my focus was on her, and not the two robed goons sneaking up behind me. It'll be some time before that bump on my head ever heals. <laughs> 